Not the better one. Oh. What's going on everyone? So I'm out here with my buddy Jordan and we're doing something that we've actually never done before. We're going after sheep's head using fiddler crabs. So we went ahead and you could either catch them on your own or you could go to a bait store and pick them up. So this is kind of a last minute trip so we went and bought some. We got three dozen fiddlers and what we're gonna be doing is we're dropping them down around these pilings. We got some, uh, some tips from our body Bob that there's a lot of fish around here. So we're gonna show you the rig and then drop down and see if we can get some fish. Before I could even get set up, Jordan's already on. Dude, that's a good one. Do you want to net them or do you just want to flip them? I just flip them. Well, that's a solid fish to start. First bait in, and Jordan's already got a good one. Okay, right there. 13 and a half. 13 and a half? Yeah. Okay, perfect. He's nice. a keeper. First He's keeper a... of the day. Mm -hmm. So, all I'm using today is a size two live bait hook right here. I don't know if you guys can even see that, it's so small. Size two, and I'm using like a like a half ounce uh, egg weight right here as a knocker rig. And we're using these fiddler crabs. This is the first time I've ever done this. So just go in and grab one. And don't really know the best way to hook them. How'd you hook them? Uh, through the bottom and up through the top. Okay, through the From bottom, behind. yep through the bottom and up through the top. So just like that, I'm using my Pen Clash 3000 San Croix Mojo Insure 7.6 medium light power rod, 15 pound braid, 15 pound fluoroliter, about uh, uh, two foot section of that. And need to tighten my drag. There we go, and just dropping it in by these pilings right here. I'm gonna pull it up. The good thing with fiddler crabs is, they don't well, they don't swim and you don't get too much bycatch, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm going to go back in there. Got one. Little guy. Maybe not. He might be keeper. Nah, he's 11 and a half. He's a little short, I thought so. It's a good start. Two baits, two fish. Get the release on him. See you, dude. That guy bent my hook. Did it? Oh yeah. That's what I thought. I'm gonna try this one, the way it's bent. Should I go for one with a claw? Yes, that big one. <laughs> yeah, Adam. Oh, I got hammered. Yeah? Yeah, I took my bait. Okay, if I miss a couple fish, then I'm gonna put a new hook on. Instead of this. Still bent? Yeah. Come on. Get him. Dude, that's a good one. Get him. Get out. I think he's out. I think he's out. He's out. Smaller, it feels like. Still a keeper. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's gonna be close to a keeper. No, that's a keeper for sure. Throw him in. Oh, that might be bigger than the first one. Might be. Dude, this is so effective. I know. We've been doing it wrong all these years. <laughs> 14. He's 14? Yeah. Solid. Yeah, that's a nice one. I got 27 inches. Oh, I missed one. All right, I'm gonna put a different hook. That's two missed fish on this bent hook. I'm sure you could really do this on like any bridge that has pilings like this. I'm sure they're on the, like those pilings too. Yeah. But since we have all these freaking barnacles and oysters and everything growing on there, plus this, this is the this is the honey hole right here. That was a tank. Oh. Oh. There we go. Feels like a little guy. Yeah. Brett, come on. I'm the king of the small ones. See you, dude. Bunch of bunch.
Got one. Did one? Feels better. He's caught up and stuff. He's out. Ah. Uh, nope. Told you. King of the small sheep's head. They are loving these fiddler crabs though. Oh yeah. Oh. That's a better one. Ah! Ah! Ah, he's about the same size. I'm really good at these size sheep's head. See you, dude. Yeah, that's the the rig right there. Little 2-0 live bait hook, fiddler crab, and I got two little egg weights up there because I broke off on the one good one that I had. Oh, dude, that looks good. That like slack out of the current, just right up in there is where all the sheepers are gonna be. I got 20 pound mono on now. Try this. I'm gonna try right here on the end. Yep. Maybe. Nope. Tiny. <laughs> hey, I'm getting them though. There he goes. Dude, uh, you know what I could really go for right now? Yokos? A jacket. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting a lot of bites. Like, right there. There you go. That's a good one. Dude. That was a nice one. Hey, Brent, uh, just checking in. Haven't heard from you in a while. I mean, maybe? 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 Oh, nice girl. We got a keeper. There you go. A little over, it was like 12 and a quarter. Honestly, this like has to be the best way to catch cheap set. Like this is the most, I don't even know what the best word to describe it is. This is the most successful because of like the least amount of bycatch. Sheep's head fishing I've yeah, ever had. Fine, you can play oh, that was the hardest hit I've had today. Do you want to keep fishing here? Or you want to try to go back to the other one on the other side? Check the other one. I hate this. <laughs> I hate missing fish. Well, this wasn't smart. I put them in the cup hole, and they all have big claws. Oh, that wasn't bad. Sheep right there. Oh. And he's just sitting there too. Ow. You have one? Get him. You're getting them though. You're getting them out. Yeah, that's a keeper. Oh yeah. I'm going. 13 and a half. You want me to measure them up for you? Yeah, if you want really quick, just so I don't have to do, do that, it, and I'll walk away. 13. Not bad. In the box! So that's gonna do it for today. We ended up getting seven keepers that we're gonna split up between friends and family and everything. Fiddler crabs have to be the most effective way that I know to catch cheap that. That was the easiest and less by, like we didn't get anything as bycatch, which blows my mind because I'm used to using shrimp where you get a lot of bycatch. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time.